Hello, welcome back to Time Simulator 19, and this is mod video number two. <coughs> Excuse me, and 99% uh, of these mods are off the farming mod page or off the game mod page. All except for this Land Rover uh, Defender 110, which um, I will put a link to the website it's from. Uh, but what we'll do, we're going to cover the rest of the vehicles that I've seen in there. So we've got the Manitou forklift, we have the Torpedo X RX 170, uh, we've got an Annaberger, well we've got a couple of Annaberger trailers, or oh, we've got one mod and there's three trailers, and then we've got this uh, Duraten. Uh, trailer pack as well. So first of all, we will start um, with the Land Rover. We'll do that first. Um, so let's uh, jump into the shop, and we'll show you where that is. So it comes as its own uh, category, uh, Edward Modding. So you click on that, and this is what you get. You get a Land Rover 110 Defender. It's thirty-six thousand nine hundred ninety, depending what. Um, currency you're running um, this is a dollars for some reason um, so go to customizing so we have not a lot of um, customization basically design color and main color main color is the body design color is the canopy on the back section um, the rest of it is as is um, 90 kilowatts 120 horsepower 80 liters and 90 mile an hour which is probably about right for Land Rover, because um, this is a new newer one with the uh, beefier engine. So, design color for the back canopy, you have all of these. There is tons and tons and tons of colors. Um, so, there isn't a configuration, I don't think there's a configuration you're not going to find you like. So, um, and there's some nice metallics in there. So, um yeah you literally it is what it is the um paints main paints cost you a thousand and the design colors i think are free no matter what color you get so unless you go with the standard color it's 36,990 uh, and if you go for a metallic it's 37,990 so that's the land rover defender 110 um let's come back out of that and we will jump into the land rover so very nicely detailed inside and let's start her up start her up all the gauges work well the speedo works uh the rev counter or the rev counter works and yeah the speedo does work i don't know whether the clock is telling the right time or not but that is that is the Land Rover 110. Let's jump outside and come around to the front. So we have side lights, main lights, and then we've got indicators. And then so you've got the side repeaters as well. Reverse is basically where the, that's the only thing that is wrong is if we turn the lights off, the indicators will work. So you drive forward, brake, and then when you reverse the strips, they would normally be the reflectors. So where the brake lights turn up, one of them should be a fog, one should be a reverse on the reel. But to be honest, River. It's a really, really nice mod. Uh, very well done. Detail is excellent. Uh, sounds really nice. Standard 50mm ball hitch on the back. So basically, I think just about any trailer will mount onto this. So, yeah. Um, nice mod. Very nice mod. Um, and that is by the Mustang 86. Well, that's what it's down as. Um, and that was off the farming simulator 19 mods.com. I will put a link 
below. I take it that's where it come from. If it's not and it come from another fart site first or it's somebody else's mod, please let me know. I can either um, rectify it, um, but that's where I found it. Been trying to find a Land Rover mod for a long time, and uh, yeah, there we go. That's the one I found. So hopefully you like that. So let's jump out of that. The next one we're going to do is slow down that. I'm running a wee bit too fast. Is the um, Manitou MC 18.4, and in that you get the MC 25.4, which is a slightly bigger fault if it gives you a bigger engine compartment, so it's a bigger engine. You get three size booms, so this has got the long boom, that's got the standard boom. Um, the forks come together and then you can open and close them and you can put doubles on both of them as you see what different types of tyres on them <coughs> but all the normal features you get with the forklift um, yeah so let's jump into the shop and have a quick look at that so they're under miscellaneous so this is the standard forklift 37,000 and this is the um, modded version 37,000 um, this one into customization. This is done by if I make sure I get it right and read my listing. Uh, was your man to and see it's by a uh, Kiyosho. Um, hopefully, I'm saying that right. So, <clears throat> you got the main forklift like that, and then if you go to the 24 you see it gets slightly bigger. And then on the boom, you got lift mast 33, 37, and 45. Doesn't come with the forks. You find the forks they'll be miscellaneous in the um, equipment and not in the vehicles. And then we'll set up. So you got Mitus TR09, Mitus TR09 twins. Then you got knocking TR12s, knocking TR12 twins, travel bug. TH400 and Trelleborg TH400 twins, and that's it. You can't change the color, um, but yeah, that's uh, Manitou handling your weld forklift MC244 or the MC184. Cause is at the same. The only thing is when you put the wheels and that, so we got the long boom, we got twins, I think. Yep. The dearest is going to be is 40,300 because that's maxed out. No, actually, 44,300 maxed out as a 25.4. So let's come back and jump into it. So let's start her up. So steering wheel works as it would do. It's. Uh, So if I so same as the other one, quite like it with the double. So if you were doing some heavy stuff, um, probably cotton bales or stuff like that, might be uh, useful with the doubles on the front. Um, <clears throat> same again, lights, standard lights. And then you've got high beam. Then you've got front work lights, rear work lights. Let's get that around the back so you can see the rear work lights. Then we've got beacon. Then we should have four ways. Yep. Don't seem to have any indicators on the back though. And then we got, yeah, we've got no indicators on the back. But we've got indicators on the front. Oh, actually, they're on the back of the uh, work units there. You can only just see them. See them there? But you wouldn't see them from the back because the structure's in the way. But there you go. So, that is the Manitou MC 25.4 and the 18.4. So, uh, yeah, let's move this one out of the way. And then I'll move the other one and we'll get onto the tractor. So 
I will uh, get this sorted, move it out of the way, and then we'll move on to the tractor. Right, so now we are on the Tornado Oryx uh, 170 or Oryx 170, depending on how you want to say it. Now, this is a foreign tractor, and it is by, I'm not going to even try and say his name, I'm going to put it across the screen here, it's just going to, so you can see who that's from. Um, yeah, so let's go into the shop on this one. This one is in medium tractors, if I remember rightly. Yep, there we go. So, this is the Tornado Oryx 170. You've got 125 kilowatts, 170 horsepower, 25 mile an hour max with 300 litres. Now, the six color, four colours you've got. New green, old green, or you got green, old green, red, old red. So it's literally you got like the older colours and then new. <clears throat> and then you got trailer board standard and weights. Then you've got Motus standard and weights. Then you got Michelin standard and weights. So the wheels basically stay the same, you just get different treaded tyres. So in design, you've got standard front weight back to standard so front weight gives you a hundred and then if you put in i think the weights are the same so it doesn't matter what tribe of tries you go with, tires you go with it's 500 for the, with the weights and then filter no filter and filter so you get the filter on the top and that's it that that is fully done you got a three point linkage on the back um, you only have a weight on the front, can't have a front load or anything, and you're looking at 3,600, 170 horsepower tractor, medium weight is not too bad. So let's come back and again. So that's it. That that is the tractor. I've got this fully. Um, actually, I did miss out. You can see there, you've got a high. You've got with the air filter. This three. You've either got none, small one, tall one. I think it's slightly dearer when you have the tall one, but not a lot. Um, so let's start her up. So lights. You got main lights, high beam, front work lights. Real alert work, work lights, and then you've got indicators left and right, four ways, beacon, come back around the front, you can just see the indicators on the uh, lights on the my gods there, and you got, there we go, so full complements of lights, and then, so let's say 25 mile an hour. She drives alright, she's a nice tractor. She's a good one if you want something a little bit different. Uh, retro, old. Um, you're running a European map, this would be ideal for it as it's a, a European tractor or a European brand or an Eastern tractor. So that's that. And then. Now we can move on. We've got two more of these equipments. We've got the Annaberg trailers here and the Durante. So let's have a look at those. So jump into the shop first, go equipments. So the first one we want to go is the Annaberg. And I think it's easier just to search for it in manufacturers. So Annaberg, not this one here, but these are the mods. So it comes in three parts. You've got the basic chassis, the Eco Liner, or the HTS 29.79 Eco Liner, and the HTS 29.79 GKF tank module. So we're going to the chassis first. So you've got the basic triple axle chassis, uh, rim color, five different colors for rims, and then main color, three different colors for main color and then you've got trailer bogs standard only and 
Michelin's are standard only. And then spoiler, if you come around the back, which to me would I would call it a bumper or a nudge bar. Um, you got normal folded, so literally it lifts it out further, and then none. So yeah, it just makes it a nice clean feeling. 110 horsepower required to run because you've got the PTO running to whatever the trailer is, and you're looking at with um, if you go in the Michelin's and then the rear bumper makes nothing, so you pay an extra three for those, and then the paints, I think, yeah, 300 for wheels and main color is 800 for main color. So, yeah, fully laden. You're looking at 57,770. So that's just for the chassis. So let's come back to the Eco Liner, which base is 17,045. So we can change the color. Three colors again red, black, and green. Capacity, you have. Two choices. You got 41,000 litres or 32,000 litres. So for 41,000 litres, it's extra 2,000. Design, you've got standard. So if we come out, it's all on the back here. Standard. One in triangle, it's 50. One in slines, it's 200. Reflective strips, which is down the sides here, is 10. Warning signs and reflective strips, and warning signs, warning triangle and reflective strips. So basically, all as they are. So 260 full up. So then, unloading mechanism standard, which is basically the back and left, which gives you a load of left hoppers or, or hatches, um, none on the right. So it's only either left hand tip or tail tip. If you have the left, you're looking at an extra 5,680. So full up with everything on as is, that's 25,785. So you'd have to add that to your chassis. So that could be quite expensive. So anyway, back to the HTS 2979 GKF tank module. This is and slurry so just to tell you the eco liner takes all just about everything there so you've got wheat barley um, oats kind of sunflower uh, soybean maize or corn depending where you're from potatoes sugar beets sugar cane um, seed i think that's wood chips don't know what that is but yeah, I think you've got total mixed ration. You might have, you've got pig food there. You've got it's all the hay grass straw, uh, liquid fertilizer, or that's a sort of solid fertilizer, manure, and lime. Um, yeah, so basically just about everything. So anyway, let's go into okay. So the final part is the Annaberger, um HTS twenty nine dot seven nine. GKF modular, tank modular, or tank module, sorry, can't even read. Right, um, main color basically changes the frame under the tank. Um, so, other than red, it's going to cost you 800, and then you've got normal spray tank and a modern spray tank. So, the modern spray tank is uh, this matte red, and the Normal spray tank is this matte yellow. Um, other than that, I really don't see any difference in them. The signs change color, um, but everything else basically stays the same. So if you go to the new or the normal, there's no price difference. Then the next but it's the attacher, which this will fit on both, which is a trailer hitch. It's this trailer hitch, but basically what you can attach to that is um, like your slurry spreading um, attachments that go on the back of the slurry spreaders for injecting into the ground. So that's another 3,000. So if you go fully upgraded um, or customized, it's going to cost you 42,785. 
um, if you go back to just having it normal, it's 38,985. So there's, I suppose, a little bit of difference. So that's that. So then what happens is, as you can see, I'll jump out of the tractor. Actually, let's get back in the tractor and start up and attach to the trailer. So while it's on the trailer, right click the mouse button, move it up and down, and you can lift and lower the front of the trailer so that you can get it at the right height for whatever tractor you're running as you can see and then it's good to go so this will take uh, let's say digestant and um, slurry or liquid slurry uh, steering rear axle on the chassis so this change to the tank so there we go we can have a slurry or digestion so let's start filling one of those up and around the front just have a look at the gauge there you go and the gauge works so let's go off and spread in a field so I'm gonna go and find a field and we'll see what the spreading is on this without an attacher um, so I'll see you in a couple of seconds at a field Right, we're around at the field, and all we've got to do now is turn on Put cruise on nine mile an hour, and you can see that one. You can see the just about see the the slurry going down on there, but that's not a bad spread for that. And so when you put an attacher on the back, if you want to put an attacher on the back. Um, you'd get the width, width that that is. Um, this is quite a big field, so it's going down reasonably quick, but not massively quick. Um, this is pulling it with no problems. It seems to be pulling, well, it's pulling this no problems at all, really. So, uh, yeah, that is the um, Anna Burger slurry spreader, and then we've got the trailer, which literally takes all the other um, products. So, Let's stop that. So now we need to have a look at the other trailer. So we'll just pop back over there. Um, well, I'll pop back over there and we'll, well, you may as well come with me. Um, we'll drop this and we will have a look in the garage at the next one. So let's drop that yeah right that's the other thing you can drop the top but you need to make sure you put the legs down first so you need to unfold supports they come down that will lift up unhitch then you can pull the trailer out but you can drop the trailer without having to worry about the taking the module off the top so right now we're on to the Durante it's uh, we're just gonna hitch up to one of these this is like a, a drawbar trailer it has a wheel at the front but it's still got all your electrics and we've got four different types on this trailer in the one pack so this is the first, well, actually, say four. There's actually five 
but two of them are near enough the same so you've got this one here and we'll go into the garage or into the shop so you can see these um, they're not actually under Durante are they so we'll go to trailers into trailers and then up to here so you've got Oh, Adorenti or oh, Adorent. So we've got 2008 without sides. It says without sides. So go into that. I don't know what that means by without sides, but that is a 45,000 litre trailer. Um, you can't change your colour, you can't change anything on there. So then you've got Will Brand, Michelin Design 1, Michelin Design 2, and then back to 1, and then you go to Trelleborg. Which is basically just wide tires, you can't change those. Then you've got lizard, or oh, it's just wide tires again, but you can't change those. So Michelin's you've got design one and design two. So literally it's the tread on the tires. And that's it. 35,000 and it holds 40,000 litres, 45,000 litres. So back out of that, then you've got the A204 four sides so without sides and four sides so and then you've got three sides so I say this four sides it's got four panels going up that's got three this is without sides but it's a solid so it takes all your produce same with these two so you've seen this one I've got one of those out there at the moment so same again can't change it 45,000 litres Michelin design one design two Trollberg Lizard and then back to Michelin again and 45,000 for that for 45,000 back. So that's 10,000 more, but it holds the same amount as this one. Now I don't know whether this actually has any bits that can be done with it. We'll have a look when we get outside and we hitch up to one. So the next one is 35,000, it's only three sides. This just got one set taken off. Because the back is still the same. Same again with the wheels. Michelin Design 1, Michelin Design 2, Trelleborg, and Lizard. So that's those. You've got your Annaberger ones, uh, the, those ones are there in the same. So the other two, though, you have to come out of here, and one of them is in Bell Technology. Or what say one of them, two of them are. You've got two here, Bell Trailers. 200A Bell Trailer. 36 bales around and then 24 bales square down this train. So there's that the same trailer, one's round, one square. So we go into that, same again, flatbed, nothing else, can't change the colour, Michelin design one, Michelin design two, Trollberg, and lizard. 10,000 flatbed and 10,000 flatbed. So back out of that. And the last one is in forestry. So in forestry, you have the same again, 200A. Wood transport, 15,000, because you're paying the 5,000 for the uprights. 200 pieces, and it, so it takes, well, trees and stuff, so it transports logs. So it, it takes logs. So we're going in there, you got, same again, Michelin Design 1 and 2, Trollerborg, Lizard, uh, 200 pieces, 15,000. So that is the Adoranti. So I'll get that right. So Adoranti 200A trailer pack. Um, so, and that's basically about it. You pull up there, you can put in there what you want. You put bales on the flatbed and you can put logs in the, on the log trailer. So hopefully you liked all those. It was a bit mishmash. It was a bit all over the place. It didn't really. It's just sort of trying to catch up with some of these. The only one that, that isn't in the Mod Hub page in the game is the Land Rover. I will put a link to that in the description below. Below, And like I said, on the um, modder's name for the... Let me get it right. The, this, this tractor, the Torpedo RX 110. Um, yeah, I will put his name underneath you would have seen it um, there will be a link um, up at the beginning well actually no I'll put it up now so put it in you won't know 
but I'll put a link up now on the top right corner to the previous one and the next one will be as you can see up there we've got some silos and um, buildings and bits and pieces which is going to be the next one which hopefully shouldn't be much after this one I just need to do that one so until next time thank you for watching hopefully this was helpful hopefully it will show you what there is and what there isn't um, what I do want to do actually before we go let's drop that because I want to know what the difference is between a th the, the f that one and this one let's see if there's anything we can do with the sides so let's back up to this one let's just speed in reverse 4 hmm, don't know what that is for right ok loads and loads so L so there's a load straps that will be for the flatbeds so unload so the back just opens up and it tips up right so you can't go into a low building on this one that's quite nice very nice action on that that does tip up quite a way as well so mm. so that's it so stop unloading that should bring it back right so that's it nice nice mod um, the straps will be on the flatbed and the log one will be more handy so until next time thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon Happy farming. Goodbye.